In today's video, we'll have a look at a new printer Creality just released. And no, it's not a Creality K2. It is the Creality K1 SE. In this video, we'll be doing a unboxing and also see how exactly does it differ from the other K1s. Let's begin. As you can see, I have a brand new Creality K1 SE here with me. But first of all, let's quickly ask the question, why the K1 SE? Well, we all know Creality is quite famous for their legendary K1 with a max speed of 600 millimeters per second. So why bring out another K1? Let's get to the unboxing and see exactly how the printer looks. Now that the printer is out of the box, we can finally have a closer look at this awesome printer. But let's see what else is included with the printer. So first off, we've got our kettle cable. And then secondly, we have our user manual. And then from there on, Creality gave it a nice goodie box, which includes the screen, which we'll get to in a minute. The filament holder, a nice toolbox full of the tools and goodies you need for your printer, and then as well a roll of filament. Let's finish the unboxing and add all the things Creality supplied. Now that the printer is out of the box and assembled, we can have a closer look at the specifications of this new 3D printer. Luckily for us, Creality added the same auto calibration and leveling system from the K1 into the K1 SE, which means you won't have to struggle with manual leveling. With the extruder similar to the Creality K1's extruder, you can rest assured that cloggings will be minimal to none. And with the Dual Gear Direct Drive extruder, feeding your filament through the extruder will be less of a headache. Creality added an aluminium alloy rigid frame to ensure much more steady prints. And upon that, they added corner gussets and cross beams on both sides of the printer to lock in that steadiness. Thanks to the G sensor that's installed in the printer, it detects unusual vibration and adjusts the motors to cancel it out. Another awesome feature the K1 SE introduces is to skip partial failure. Now what that means is it gives you the capability of skipping any failed parts during a batch print to complete the rest of the print quite successfully. The K1 SE inherits the K-series lightweight but yet agile Core XY system, which means it has a max printing speed of up to 600 mm per second and a max acceleration speed of up to 20,000 mm per second. Quite impressive. With the out-of-the-box experience, Creality decided to make it a bit more easier for the user as for most of the parts is already pre-assembled. It takes around about 3-5 to five minutes from unboxing to powering up your machine. With an open source hardware architecture, you can add your own type of casing, whether it's 3D printed or just normal perspex. The creativity is all up to you. With a build volume of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters, you can surely print quite a variety of things, including castles and so much more. And with the Wi-Fi feature, you can print anywhere you would like. Just make sure both devices are connected to the internet. A filament runout sensor is also added to the K1 SE to warn the user whenever the filament has run out. And it pauses automatically the print until new filament is added. Now let's look back at our previously asked questions. What is the differences between the K1C and the K1SE? Well, mainly it is the casing. The K1C comes with a built-in casing where the K1SE doesn't. But you are able to add your own casing to the K1SE. Another main difference between the K1C and the K1SE is the camera. The K1C comes with a built-in camera where the K1SE doesn't. But you are able to add your own Nebula camera if you have the need to monitor your printing. Now for our second question. 
why the K1 SE? Well, Creality thought it would be nice to add another K1 to the K1 series, which has the same specifications as the rest of the K1s, but is a bit more budget friendly. So if you're looking for a quality printer, but won't break the bank, I would definitely recommend the K1 SE. Now that we have a bit more knowledge about this printer, let's start it up and see how it prints. print on the K1 SE is done and I must say I'm quite impressed on how the print came out. I didn't have issues with plate adhesion nor layer height issues and there is no sight of under or over extrusion. Thanks guys for watching and please remember to leave a like on this video. If you would like to see more content like this make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or our social media platforms. If you have an awesome suggestion for our next video, make sure to leave it in the comments so we can have a look at it and who knows, it might appear in our next video. Until the next one, 3D Printing Store out.